How do you say 60? Let me hear it. Try it. If you said 60, you were right. Again, 60. And when you look at it, what do you notice in the spelling? Remember the original number 6 had an S on it? Again, it disappears because we don't need it. We wouldn't hear it with the Z next to it. So it's 60. And what do you think happens when we say 70? What happened up here when we say, said 17? We shortened the word, right? So 70 would be sip. C-I-G ending and the short form of 7. And then A-D is normal again. 80, 90, and then we go to, you can say 100 oder 100. Doesn't matter which way you say it. 100 oder 100. So, let's go over it quickly. How do we count? Remember, we start with our thumb. In English we don't do that. In English we start with here. That's a very culture, very important cultural difference. Okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Elf, zwölf. These are a little different. And then we could go dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn, siebzehn. 18, 19, 20. And here we have the ending CIG. Okay. And all the tens up to 100 at the CIG. Now, how did, did we say 21? Remember, after 20 we start counting from right to left. 1 und 20, 2 und 20, 3 und 20, 4 und 20. 25, 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's the next 10. This spelling here does not add a Z-I-G because it has the S set in it, so the spelling is a little irregular. All right, and then we go on. You know how to count now from right to left. 31, 32, 33, and so on. The next 10 is 40. Remember, number, basic number 4 plus the CIG ending. 50, basic number 5, CIG. 60, basic number 6 without the S and the CIG. 70, again, basic number 7 without the EN and the CIG ending. 80 is regular. 90, 100 or 100. Okay, now I'm going to t write a year. Let's see 1945, for example. Now how do we say that in, in German? In English we say 1945, right? In German we say this, we have to say 1900. Neunzehnhundertfünfundvierzig. Oder, oder zum Beispiel How would we say that? Here. Again. Neunzehnhundertachtzig. Neunzehnhundertachtzig. When we go up into the thousands, it's like English almost, we say 1,000, 2,000, and so on. Let's say I'm going to write down the number 368. How would we say that? 368. 368. Let's do another one. 
So now you should be able to say the year you were born or any important dates you want. And why do we need numbers? Because sometimes we have to know how to give an address. We have to know a street number. If you call somebody, we may have to say it on the phone, except now people text all the time, so it's okay. But numbers are very important, and they are not that complicated to learn. So when you go shopping in Germany, you will know what they'll tell you, how much things cost. And of course, you know that in Europe, we use the euro, right? It's pronounced euro, not euro. So, zum Beispiel, if you see that written down, So, in English we would say 1.25, where we have a point in English, we do a comma in German. So it would be 1 Euro 25 Cents. So we have Euros und Cents. That's the currency that's currently used in Europe, Euro. And it's pronounced Euro, not Euro, Euro. And the plural is Euros. And that's it for numbers for today. Thank <coughs> you.